uh, this is Jackson's TV with uh, Landon's mom, uh, Mrs. Venata. Uh, thank you for uh, talking to us today. No problem, my pleasure. Okay, first of all, um, you know when Landon, you know, started getting an interest in MMA, uh, what were your initial thoughts about uh, mixed martial arts? When he first started training, uh, I was pretty excited about it. I was always glad to see my kids getting involved in uh, extracurricular activities and sports, so it was kind of fun. And specifically with mixed martial arts, uh, what did you think of, of actually the sport itself? Um, personally, I thought it was a little rough. <laughs> and when I did go and watch him practice a few times uh, while he was still here, it was... Um, Sometimes I would cringe, but I knew that this was where his heart was, so it was not a difficult um, thing to, you know, watch him continue with. Right, and and now that he, you know, he's about to turn professional, um, you know, he's going to have this fight coming up on May twelfth, um, and he's he's made this as a career choice. Um, what does the whole family think of, of him deciding to pursue this type of career? We are really, really excited for him. Landon has always been extremely goal-oriented. He started setting goals when he was really young, and he's always met or exceeded them. And so when he decided that this was his life goal, we were all 100% behind him. We're really, really rooting for him. And, and um, have you been able to see either of his amateur fights at all? Um, I actually flew out to Albuquerque to watch two of them, and um, uh, no, I didn't get to see them live, but I did get to see his first one, I think it was his first one, um, while he was out there, we were able to see it online, and, um, and that was really exciting. We had the whole family here watching it, and um, it was very exciting to watch. And now, you know, with him making his pro debut, I mean, this is this is where it counts, um, you know, with his pro record, with wins and losses. Um, are you are you a little stressed with this fight because it definitely is not an amateur fight at this point? Uh, I don't. I can't say that I get stressed over it. I mean, he's my son, and I certainly um, want him to be happy and pursue his goals. I I don't want to see him injured, and um, I don't think he will be. And uh, I'm not. I'm not really stressed. I think when the time comes and I actually do watch a live fight, fight up front, I may have to blink a little harder a few times. <laughs> For the most part, it's we're just you know real pleased to see him following through with what his life dream is. Okay, well, we really appreciate you taking time to talk with us. Would you like to say anything to uh, Landon in this video? Uh, Landon, you know we love you, we support you, and we are so proud of you. So, so proud of you. Just go for it. Never give up. All right. Thanks again very much, and uh, uh, we look forward to Landon's fight on the 12th. Me too. Thank you so much. And thank you. This is Jackson's Hot TV again with Landon. Uh, Landon, this is Fight Week. Um, your fight here at Muscular Warrior Challenge is going to be this coming Saturday. Um, you know, we talked with your mom um, about about you, and um, you know, moving out here from Florida has it been difficult? You know, not being with family. Uh, not too much. You know, I kind of consider myself a loner. I find that I get by pretty good on my own. Um, not not the biggest people person, mm -hmm. know, except for close friends and family. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you know, I talk to them every single day. Mm -hmm. Just keep in touch, so it'll be fine though. Mm -hmm. And oh, you know, you know, coming out here um, again, you know, from Florida, and, and not necessarily having your family around, it, it does seem though, like from your mom, that she's extremely supportive of you. So just talking on the phone and connecting with her that way is, is does that help? Absolutely. I mean. I'm a mama's boy, <laughs> so mm -hmm. I mean I, I talk to her every day, so she definitely helps me out. She's always supporting me, always giving me encouragement. Mm -hmm. And what 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 is it like, you know, when you when you first started, you know, really getting serious with MMA? I know you came out here when you were younger and stuff, but when you got serious, um, how did you broach that subject with your parents, or did they already know that this is what you were going to do? Oh, they knew since I was 12 years old mm -hmm. that I was. I always told them to be. You know, be the world champion one day, and be the world champion, professional fighter, and be the best. Mm -hmm. so they always knew that I was going to be doing this. So it was pretty set early, and since then they've supported you. Yeah, absolutely. They supported me all through high school when I was wrestling, and in college, and coming out here. So mm -hmm. for full support from. And kind of uh, changing subject, sir. What is it like now? You know, it's fight week. You know, you're cutting down. You know, your weight and and and, and so forth. Um, how is this different than than other weeks getting ready for the fight? 
Yeah, it's about the same, more or less, you know, from the amateur fights and stuff. Or, mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's about the, are you talking about as in different fight weeks or like previous weeks leading up to the fight? Previous weeks leading up to the fight. Oh, yeah, this is just a real tone back, you know, this is my rest and recovery week. I'm just letting my body recover, letting all my injuries heal while still keeping my conditioning in par. And uh, just getting my weight down, getting that water weight off. Mm -hmm. And do you feel any pressure um, since this is going to actually count on your record now? I mean, yeah, there's always a little bit of pressure, but I, I just go out there, I like to have fun. Mm -hmm. And who are you traveling down with? Uh, I believe EJ Roberts and Clint Roberts. Okay, and Clint's on the card as well, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so I think, you know, we're going to have one more uh, video before you leave, hopefully, and then you're going to be chronic chronicling what you're doing down there with some video, and then we'll post that next week, and uh, hopefully uh, you'll come back with that win. Okay, thanks again, Lana.